Hi guys, today we're going to do a quick demonstration of the Soulbox route optimization and proof of delivery solution. And what we can see here is a list of orders that have been imported from an e-commerce platform or an ERP system of some sort. If we click on individual order, we can see the type of order it is. It's a pickup. This is the customer, the location. These are the email and phone number that's going to be notified on route and once it's delivered the date and the time window for the order, the service time once the driver gets there, how long it's going to take, if there's a third party payer and the, the cost of the order and invoice number and driver notes. We can also see here is that there's a capacity of 100 cube on this order. So the way the system works is basically it takes all the constraints around each individual order it knows the vehicles and it knows the driver's working hours and it plans the runs. So first of all, we can see here there's 89 orders. We can go ahead and group these and create manifest if we want, but today we're going to auto allocate. So auto allocate basically allows the system to do the thinking for you. So once we auto allocate, the system knows how many drivers are available based on their working hours and it gives them a tick to say they can do the work. If they can't do the work, it doesn't leave them with a tick. So we can actually select how many drivers we'd like to use. In this case, I'll remove a couple. Once we hit calculate, the system goes ahead and takes all the time windows, the locations, the drivers, working hours, and it creates a plan. And the plan basically takes all of the time windows, the distance, the driving time, the service time, and it creates all the runs. Each run is then presented onto the map. And if required, we can make changes. So if we're going to take this job off this vehicle and put it onto this vehicle or this vehicle, we just drag it back in. Once we're happy with the runs, we hit submit. Submitting the orders then sends it to the manifest menu and it's ready to dispatch once we're 100 percent sure with what we want to do so once we go into the manifest menu and the runs are created we can then see the four runs we've just created we can go ahead and look at all these on a map again if we need to make more changes or check for crossovers We can also send to the vehicles, notify customers of their ETA, or we could have a look at a, an existing run that's already in operation. So what the system allows us to do is see where the driver is now, which job is on his way to, the jobs that have been completed, and then the pending jobs that remain. So, quick glance here, we can see these two jobs have been delivered and this job's on for route now. If we click in on this job that was delivered, we can see here it was signed by Tom and this was a driver left a note. And we can see as well, there is a picture attached to the driver left. What we can also see is what the customer received. So the customer would receive notification saying it was delivered at the time and a proof of delivery and the driver's signature, sorry, the customer's signature and the item notes that was left by the driver. What we can also see is that this customer now is expecting their delivery. And we can see here what the customer would have received it shows what time the driver is going to arrive. The system has been designed to, in real time, make changes, attach new orders, re-optimize live, and update the driver app all in real time. Keeping in mind the distance and time for each run reporting is all available within the system as well. Thank you.